Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. Stop being such a fucking degenerate. Your time will be over! <laughs> y'all don't represent truth. Y'all don't represent justice. Y'all represent evil. Look at this. 8 USC 1324. Right off the bat, you could tell he's lying. Because US Code 1324 is in regards to bringing in and harboring certain aliens. How does that have anything to do with any of this? Human rights violations. No one is a US citizen. What? So this is a violation of human rights all day. I wonder if he's going to pull a Devon and call the United Nations. Oh, how I would love to be a fly on the wall for that conversation. Are you stupid or something? You are forcing people to be U.S. citizens. <laughs> Look at this shit. Killers, murderers. 8 U.S.C. 1324. Title 18, 9 11. This is a human rights violation. This is a human rights violation. Rinse and repeat. Always repeat. <laughs> Look at the killers. Got people all in handcuffs. Yeah, well, that's what happens when people break the law. Imagine that. Yeah. Look at this shit. This how the killers do. I told my, I told my receipt up to put it in the garbage can when I got my sanitary napkin. At 9.07, I ain't seen Title 18, 9.11. I'm not using them up. No one is a United States citizen. What's wrong with you? I am absolutely speechless. I don't even know how to react to that statement. Wow. <laughs> Eight USC one three two four. My name is Minister Aero Al of In the Gods We Trust Ministry. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? And this is a straight up human rights violation. This is a violation of the Constitution, Article Six. They are using the color of law. My God! How could one person get this much wrong? Oh wait, never mind. He's a sovereign citizen. Are you dumb? I am not a United States citizen. Oh, you're not a U.S. citizen. Well, I have four words for you. Get the f out! So to talk to me, to call me anything else is treason. Period. Doing what you're doing is high treason. Code and policy enforces. Look, like he a slave. Got handcuffs on this man like he a whole slave. An American state. We are the American state citizens, and this is how we are being treated on our own land. We are not black or African American. <laughs> you serious? This is a common phrase from more sovereign citizens, yet when you ask them to prove it, they just make excuses. Hey morons, take a DNA test. They're 99% accurate. These people have been using the color of law against us. They are committing high treason. Lori Lightfoot, I have told your people their code. And there is a sergeant here who constantly violates people's human rights. That constantly violates the Constitution. Article 6. This sergeant right here. These are terrorists. These are terrorists. Can you say it one more time for the people in the back? These are terrorists. MP12979. 
That's the sergeant who constantly violate people's human rights, constantly uses the color of law, constantly. This is the color of law at its finest. And that's a violation, <laughs> right? It's a federal violation to use the color of, color of law. You're using it. We are not black or African American. No! No reason. No reason, huh? No reason. Right. So that means he did not consent to any of this. They don't even need his consent. This is nothing more than sob said buzzwords. Lori Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot, you heard it yourself. They're using the color of law. They're using the color of law. The federal, right. Just know the Department of Justice loves to see this. Because y'all just straight just say it. Forget civil orders, July 4th, 2014. This is the document he is speaking of. Go ahead and pause the video and read it if you want. It's laughable as it is stupid. Forget the writ of mandamus, May 20th, 2015. I couldn't find anything on what he's talking about here. If someone knows, please send it to me. Y'all saying forget that. Y'all don't care nothing about y'all own Magna Carta. Did he really just say Magna Carta? I believe he meant Magna Carta. While it did have influence on the U.S. Constitution, it was written in 1215 to settle an intense political dispute between King John of England and a group of barons who were challenging King John's absolute right to rule. This guy is fucking stupid! Which we are the free men of your Magna Carta. You want to use the color of law. You want to terrorize us. I see it right. I, it, don't worry about it. They know what time it is. I told them who I am. Minister L. Royale of In the Guys We Trust Ministry. In layman's terms, he's a nobody. That's the fact, Jack. This is my business. This is my land. I am the law of this land. And I need all y'all to disperse and don't come around here no more. Delusion. Tonight. I don't want to see Nan one of y'all no more tonight. Disperse. I have told you who I am. Minister L. Royale of Inner Gospel Trust Ministry. You cannot talk to me, say anything to me. I have told you who I am. Now I need all y'all to disperse. I don't want to see you no more, especially your ass. You sergeant, you can, don't worry about that paperwork coming for you, player. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Trees this mother. Oh, yo. Ooh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Don't worry about it. Treason. High treason. High treason. Now, while he didn't get tased or arrested, it was important to show how delusional and dangerous he is. Minister LOL drank at least a gallon of the Savsit Kool Aid. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of him. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around. I'm also very interested in what you have to say, so please leave a comment below. Until next time, later days. Hey, shut the fuck up and listen!